Beach here trying to make something out of this. Oh, nice that. They're committing forward a bit. Back of a Moonlight Shadow. They have that sentry down, though, and they quickly get both hit with a curse. But they're pursuing forward, looking to go for the finish on Paparazzi. The arrow's there. Now the A gonna be committed. They put their focus onto the A. They're not be able to take it. Oh, no, they are able to crack it, though. Follow up, Global Silence. Turn around play from Beachy, but Cuckoo is able to get the finish right then and there. But Ori's not done yet. Diving right back in, able to chop on up and finish off Ninja Boogie before taking his lead. This Arc War always does this build when he played, especially on Complexity, before he switched to five. And yeah, this guy is actually severely jacked. All right. They roll together knowing the potential power that they hold, and they are smoked. Roche is also up, so if they're successful with this fight, they could follow up with that objective there. To the high ground, they go. Arbel didn't really see them coming. It gets quickly caught out. That's Not even a great. chance to be able to leap away. The follow-up global's going to be there, and this could be a huge moment for BG Gaming. Look at him down. Time down, Cuckoo. He's going to be forcing himself to up. Now Gabby tries to step in and get something going. Almost able to burst down Paparazzi, but the Yules will save him for now. Tries to drop the bubble, but will still get popped. Speaking of getting popped, the egg also gets cracked, and he's going to be forced to buy back. But Cuckoo has already been finished, and this fight already belongs to VG Gaming. And uh, by the way, it's also 30 minutes. Let's get some bounties. Maybe they even think the way top. All right. Well, now they're going to be tested to hold the line, and they're not going to have Cuckoo to back them up. Armel's up in just three seconds' time, but here comes trouble. Fortification already committed. And, and uh, yeah. wow, both of them just uh, insta snipe there on the side. No chance whatsoever. Gang fakes back. Armel wants to swing into the big war. Stars torn. But yeah, as you mentioned, the wards are going to get committed right in the midst of the base. And it's going to be a matter of trying to deal with that or deal with the enemies here. They are going to get the finish on the DY. Immediate buyback by him. Follow takedown of Yang. Ori could be next. Steps back. Paparazzi, though, is just like a turret. Shooting from the back lines, able to get the snipe on the Tims there. Tims is going to be forced to buy back. Paparazzi just going for tier four. Dude, I, I noticed that. <laughs> he just like hit it twice. Like, wait, what the hell? They're going to get a tier. They didn't get. They're going to get a melee axe finally. But they already, they already cleared out like one of the tier fours. It looks like. Is this what we're going to do it? They're trying. It look like. Professionals call it anti-timing. They're smoking back into them. This is a little yeah. bit scary. They have the radiance now, though. But I'm still scared. Are they you know, scared? They know they're all top. Yeah, this fact. is scary. This is oh. very scary. And the call. Oh, oh and the call is dead. Can't fight. Can't fight. Oh, the bar. Phoenix back. buyback. Okay. Horn is gonna come in soon. The damage of Pavarazzi. Horn came in. He's dead. Pavarazzi is dead. He's killing everyone. It's a shrine. Spectre is killing three people at the shrine though. They're all dying. The stun. Egg. Cuckoo is stunning. Cuckoo is stunning indeed. Echo slam. Silence. Coming in. Right. Is that zero? Go in the call of hell. Can they kill him? They go even. They can't kill him on the radio! Oh my god! What's happening? Wow. Wow. Oh my god! It's a I've team never wide! Seen anything like BG it. Gaming got team wide! It is a huge fight! 80 seconds on the Phoenix! At minute 21! Why the Spectre? They picked purely for mid game. <laughs> Late game. It does smoke again. It feels strong. They got the timing. Radiance, Bud Seeker, BGB here as well. Or. DY? Rapture? Ain't no FY, because he's gonna be dead. Wait, Rapture went out on who? On the, on the pain? All right, just a free bank. Give the kill. Boom. Hey, they, they might be able to get the life there too. The life uh, He's right there. He, he's just. The big B is big up. Gonna kill him, babe. They're gonna get chopped. Hey. Oh, he missed the chop. Oh, they need to run away. Oh, no. What are they doing? Oh my God, he's gonna stun lock him. I, I think life is also in trouble. Oh, life is in trouble. Wait, where's it? What's happening? Spread the horns again. The horns are here. Rage up. You can fight. Oh, he can reap again. He can again, but he's fine with that. Okay, he's beat out life there. What's happening? This is. What happened? Where was the Spectre going? Why didn't he just kill the axe? Selves. It's all on Laposa's like positioning here. Good, good global really is their only savior. And he's kind of, oh no, he might be. Oh, he runs to the right, actually. This is good for, for okay. Pain X right now. Okay, Paparazzi running in. They pop the smoke. They know he's within the trees. They quickly go for the Moonlight Shadow to be able to make it back in a way, but they're just all on the run. There's the grab lasso. Turn around. They're going to see if they can burst down the tool first, and they can. They're going to take him out immediately, but how much is it going to cost? They already lose Laposa. Then they're going to be losing their Bat Rider. Frantically looking to fight and grab anyone within the trees. Pain X over to with, with no TP available for at least another second. They have Finally, it comes off, but they got that vision. They ping it out now. They know they have the vision, but wow. if you didn't see it the, at that fight, the the Phoenix good up and around kind of a play here to possibly catch Avicii from behind, who are scouting that Roche pit and then begin to go in for it. Can they see this approach? I like it from Pain. 
They got to really make the most of it. But look who's counting from the outside. It's going to be the DK. They look to side from right away. Good global follow up is going to be there. But immediate jump in. Immediate Yules from CC and C. Nice job to catch Yang on that one. But have they done enough? They get the DK down. He quickly buys back. And then they put their focus onto the Ritsu. The Dragonite's already back, folks. And he is right into the action. The follow up RP is also there. And that will eliminate both power hitters from Pain X's side. I mean, a valiant attempt, a good approach for yeah. KX, but there's just so much power on the side of BG Gaming already, and so many resources that it's just David versus Goliath it already feels. Yeah, it is like that fight, if it wasn't a <laughs> ever, that's why you just literally hear that sound the entire time. Hey, Shut that man up. Please, someone stop. Well, back to the bottom lane comes Six the NC. Yeah, having to siege away is on Mel. Has that extra life. I think it's oh. jumped on fourth into the right. Chrono, where Gabby has taken out the dunk factor of this defense. No dunk going to be there for well over a minute. TNC just came out with all cylinders for this game three. And they're trying to see if they can force Beach to throw in the towel nice and early. They're trying to hold on. Or he has the Aeon disc to try to survive. Nice war trap to trap the Morphling within. Or that was just a unit, rather. Still, good spot for the wards to try to get some damage done. But it looks like they are going to be able to farm up all that additional money. A buyback forced out from Ori. Yay. The Armel back in the second line, but looks like will wow. get taken down here. Tried to fight back a bit, but couldn't quite get a finish there. Oh, and, a lot uh, of gold. Well, VG hold, and they get a good amount of money for it. With that, I think you might. He might just go in and hope for the best. That AOE is so big inside the base. You might just but you, you shadow blade block. fade. Might try to go for a jump on the outside with the dunk. Moving calls there. Jump in Chrono. Catches a couple, but not everyone. Looks like he puts his friend. focus right away for DY. Profit walks right into the bubble. Looks to go for the finish, and Armel gets blasted down. And Gabby in trouble next. Gabby what? also gone. Oh, disaster for what? TNC. Here comes trouble now. Fighting. Copley on four. This is the yeah. second life of Armel. He's going to die before the face of four. Can he even return to the fight? But no, he tries to turn around and swing it out. Still in trouble, though. The chase is on, and there he eventually gets finished. Buyback from him. They're trying to close this thing out. It would look like G Gabby's getting back Paparazzi in on the action. Go. He's got the cheese in the bubble still. Dives on in, gets a big bubble grab. Looks to go for it. Jump on the other side. Big dunks there. But can they get the finish here? The Morph's going to be out for a good two minutes. No buyback onto him. This might be it. PNC looking to close things. Gucci Gaming from making it back inside to safely be able to defend. They get Yang down. That is as well a dieback, and it looks good for TNC. And Ori should be oh, next here. TNC, it was a long, tough, There's uphill battle, but it is going to be successful. Pause or not, this one is over. GG's have been tossed, respect has been given, and this one... Yeah, missed opportunity, but uh, not the end of the world. Up top, oh my goodness. pressure onto this tier Dota two. Plus 84% at this point, I mean, oh, I, I don't know if I go that high, I agree. I think they're winning when an Alchemist is down 4K, but still. See up top, Abed makes the rotation. EG with a lot of reinforcements nearby. Split, Echo Slam available. S4 jumps in, and Abed in a little That's bit more forward than he like. Still, S4 gets off the split though as Global Silence gets used. They want this kill on Abed. Crit just walks in, gets off the dunk, but Jabs is right there with the Fiend's Grip. Crit will actually be the first one to go down now. MP joining the party. Sumail does have the Reaper Sight, but oh Black Hole oh, connects on the EG squad. Jabs. This was the moment that Fnatic has been waiting for. They bring down two, trying to finish off S4 as he goes back into Panda form. On the backside, they bring down Fly as well. Arteezy, the lone survivor, because he wasn't there. Dota Plus, wait, what he's got now, man? I can't expect it. Him a little more protection in these kind of scenarios. Scan will hit. Find some heroes. Limited angles for Fnatic. Who are we sending in first? Though. No Blink Dagger on Enigma, so certainly not Ice Ice Ice. It's going to be MP as he jumps in and catches Fly. Sumail able to survive for the rest of the first, but Fnatic have a lot of reinforcements. There's the Yule Scepter. Mitigates the damage from the Concoction. S4 now put into the Nightmare as Abed reinitiates, jumps in onto the Arc Warden. Lotus Orb helps make some space for Arteezy, but BKB, another Concoction from Abed. Brit blocks him out, though, as MP jumps in. They will catch the Arc Warden. Buyback already been used by Fly. Looks like a good fight for Fnatic. Still now the Fiend's Grip global. onto Sumail. Global finally used. Tiny getting stunned up, getting very low, but Abed still very healthy. He's got another King Kong. Oh, coming. Nice Reaper Scythe will finish off MP, but there's the black hole. Connects on Sumail and finds the kill. It's a one for four plus the buyback. Could even be a dieback for Fly as they dive into the tier three and they'll find it. Four down, no buybacks available for EG. 
from Fnatic, but it's taking I mean, a it's, while. It's a little slow. And EG might be able to get Barracks off this, even if they win a fight. Here's the initiation, though. S4 gets off the split straight away. They are going to try to bring down Fly, and they get it before he can global. No buyback there. Sumail isolated, but still alive. It's a clumsy fight for Fnatic. They'll lose DJ. He buys back now. BKB already been used by Abed, but having trouble sticking on a target. Sumail able to blink back defensively as on the other side. Jabs gets dope, and now the Enigma oh gets God, brought S4. down. S4 doing so much work in the back line. Even if he goes down here, you can feel his impact in this fight and has forced two buybacks out of Fnatic. They do hold on to the barracks, but EG take the fight. He just made. And then the BKB to Abed. This is nine second BKB, but he can't even stick on it. Look at him go. <laughs> He's still nice, 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 getting kills. Right, getting back to the real game here. Barracks exposed. This Alchemist does not want to buy back. If he dies again after that, he'll be in the grave for right, so easy. long. The Black but RTZ in a lot of trouble. Ice 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 ready to line it up, but they don't even need it. Now the Fiend's grip on the Sumail. He's going to try to make it back. Whoops. The Black Hole catches only one. Although oh, Sumail walks back into the Event Horizon. Not ideal, but there's the silence, the blink back, and the buyback now from RTZ. DJ locked inside of the trees. We'll be able to roll down to the low ground. Not sure who's taking the victory here. Now the buyback oh, forced chasing by MP. the Alchemist. Sending him back, trying to get some damage onto these buildings. Tempest Double still there, Sumail as well. Economic damage done to both sides, but Fnatic feeling like they're on the back foot now. Sumail, Sumail blinks forward, finishes off Ice Ice Ice, and now this could be a dieback for Abed. He gets low, knocked backwards, but DJ goes down next. Now MP running low as Arteezy is laying in a lot of damage. He falls, four down, no buybacks. EG might have actually just closed out this game. They need the farming charge. Yasha now coming out for Arteezy. That's now four, four. Hot. four. Fiend's Grip probably going to come out after this. That little scepter sets things up. Arrow will actually connect on jabs. S4 living a bit longer than planned. Wow. Fly gets there in time with a shallow grave. They'll turn on to Ice Ice. Ice Jabs also goes down. S4 blinks and dodges the avalanche too. The Moonlight Shadow, he might survive. They're looking for him. They can't quite find him. He does not have a TP scroll, but he's got a lot of friends nearby. They're going to rotate into the shrine. It's already been used. Limited detection. The courier does get its immunity. It'll survive as they jump in onto the Phoenix. S4 is ready. Down. He wants to go back in. He's so low here. Oh, oh, but a beautiful setup for the arrow. The oop into the arrow. It's going to be four down. EG find the advantage. Is that you can afford to go for these defense still get items damage, and yeah. still have so much. Especially against the Terror Blade, it's true. Dabs moving in here, but they have the vision. Okay, they want to take this fight. Reflection from Arteezy to start things off. S4 just jumps in onto the Phoenix. Follow up finger. They'll bring him down. That's a gem that's hit the deck. Now it's on. will buy back. EJ back into the fray. EG very spread out right now. Maybe Sumail going to be, gonna gonna be left behind. Yeah, and that's going to be Abed to jump in and finish him off. All right, well, if they get the rope because of this buyback, oh, they'll be just fine. Mid lane. Oh, okay, they're that's a little better rip. than Roche. Fnatic ready to put big pressure on. There's no buyback at Sumail, and they're going to grab crit on the back line as MP jumps in. They will use the glyph. A double catapult wave. They decide to make their play on S4. Hops in though, gets on board. This could be huge. EG need to hold here. They've lost DJ. That's a dieback as Arteezy pops the BKB. Scotty online doing big damage in the back line. Jazz trying to move his way into the tree line, but he'll fall. Arteezy still repelling the likes of Fnatic right now. It was a good play, but it looks like it's going to backfire as now Ice 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 gets brought down. Fnatic. Oh completely repelled. They don't even get the tier 3 below half health. Good work here, Fly. Now Arteezy just heading up to the high ground. So 40 barracks. seconds left on the Aegis. Huge damage here. Sunray ticking him down, but Megas will be secured for the evil geniuses. Oh, hey, we got the Dire Courier though, you know, take your victories. That's a little pick-me-up. This could be the Aegis. Now the Supernova, they're going to try to focus it down. It gets popped straight away alongside Jabs. Terrible going to be coming back to life. Aegis of the Immortal. Dark Rift back to the well. It is cast by Ice Ice Ice, and he keeps his carry alive. It's a cute play. They're playing for survival here, right to the very last building, it looks like, from Fnatic. Another morph into the Terror Blade. Looks like it just might be enough to actually send them a bit back here. Okay. With elimination at least, at least on the line. Fly. You're going to hang in as long as you can. It's not over until it's over. In theory, still possible for EG to toss this away, but it would take one hell of a miracle for Fnatic. The bold hypothesis. 
Sumail jumps in alongside the Lion. Abed, he turns into a TB, but MP's gone down. It's Terrorblade on Terrorblade action, but RTZ's hit the gym, and he's a bit bigger. No glyph for these tier fours. EG is still playing very cautious, not over committing here. Respecting the power of Fnatic as they push forward. The final moments are upon us, Trent, as the Underlord gets brought down without buyback. The Morphling gets hecked, Jeez. pummeled with snowballs, and the GG will finally be called as EG eliminates.